Hello YouTube, it's me again. Time for another rant from your favorite Green Party rep. Today my discussion will be Kisses for Africa, a charity that I'm assisting in creating here in uh, Corner Brook on Grenfell campus at Memorial University of Newfoundland. Um, at present we're only a small scale thing raising money for a Christian missionary group to the community of hope in Kenya. Uh, but before I get onto that, I want to mention to you the roots of the organization. A friend of mine, Amanda Vincent, has a little girl named Anna. While in Sunday school one day, and no this isn't a cliche, she was told that little boys and girls in Africa don't have shoes to wear. This little three-year-old asked, well why don't they? She was told they didn't have the money for shoes. She thought about it and thought about it and realized that she had money that her grandfather would give her. She called it her Kisses Money. So she realized that she had money and she had shoes. So she thought if she gave her Kisses Money and some of her old shoes to the African boys and girls in Hope, Kenya, then maybe they'd have some shoes to wear. That's where it all started. She began to fundraise on her own, donating her own resources and helping with the missions group in the Pentecostal Church in Deer Lake, a nearby community. And recently I got wind of it. I spoke with her mother and thought that this whole thing could be set up a notch. And it could be improved and the resources could be made using the Grenfell faculty and staff to do a little bit more than just the efforts of a three-year-old girl. And that being the case, Kisses for Africa was born. We have had one fundraising event to date and on that event we raised $106 in just a few hours. We were selling little chocolates and thank you notes that uh, Amanda had made for anonymous donations. No ceiling, no minimum, just if you have a pocket full of change, toss it on the table, grab some candy, and go on about your business. Um, it worked out really well. One of the missionaries had actually attended this particular event at a crossroads at Grenfell, and uh, she was tickle pink. She was very excited about the whole affair. Um, while she sat there, we were discussing what else we can do, what more we can accomplish together. And then she mentioned that the missionary group can actually purchase shoes, flip-flops, <coughs> for the children in Africa at a dollar twenty a pair. I'm not sure from where or from what matter of bulk a reduction could be made, but that's the numbers, a dollar twenty a pair for these little durable flip-flops for the children in Hope. And then we realized there's a few hundred children in, in the community, but shoes are wonderful. Uh, the terrain is a bit rugged and the garbage and broken glass and that sort of thing that could damage the children's souls. But we realized, well, what more could we do? What more important gesture could be made from the people at Grenfell Campus? And she mentioned to us that for the price of $800, we could buy enough water for this particular orphanage, the entire community in itself is an orphanage, for one year. So our goal now, by the end of April, it is currently the 14th of March, to raise $800 to send with the missionary group so that they can raise enough money to buy a year's supply of water for the community of hope. Um, our goals, though, be the dreamer that I am, I hope to do a little bit more than that. Eventually, I want to raise enough money to send another group down to Africa or join forces with an existing group so that we can create a solar water distillery. Shouldn't be any particular issue to find a source of water, even a, a deep tap, a deep well, or even gray water, and using solar water distillation, we can create a source of fresh water, and hopefully using the resources and intuition and ingenuity of the uh, faculty, staff, and students at Grenfell Campus to create something that the children and the missionaries can build and hopefully replicate. So the idea to build this solar water distillery to create potable water for the orphanage was also where it started. Another project could be created whereby we can create earthworks such as super adobe earth bags or even earth ships. Um, 
there will be more videos in the future, more specifically on those designs. Or just search YouTube for Earth Ship or Super Adobe, and you'll see the kinds of things that I want to do for these people. Um, it's easy, as the parable goes, to give a man a fish, feed him for a day, teach a man a fish, feed him for a lifetime. But it's better to give the people the tools to make their own fishing rods, to make their own nets. That way they can be completely self-sufficient, which is the goal of Cases for Africa in the very long run. Aside from that, the missionary work, we want to do work in Canada. We want to create an environment where people can um, where people can incubate their interest and really cultivate the skills they require to make organizations like we're making. Because in reality, it's not that difficult. It just takes a lot of effort and creativity to pool the right resources and the right people together. So, working with Amanda, we decided that two scholarship funds, also in our very, very long-term goals, are necessary for Kisses for Africa. One of which will be devoted to a person who has the initiative to participate in a great deal of volunteer activities so that an individual while in university can apply for a scholarship and have the resources to pay for some university tuition for those who want to live altruistically, who want to live for others and do their part, volunteering in the community and all that sort of thing. An additional scholarship that we were discussing is to have an international student scholarship. An individual from Kenya or from another nation in the African continent to come over here and learn some resources, take engineering courses, take teaching courses, take uh, sciences, and then bring those resources back to Africa to attempt to improve their environment. Uh, again, I don't want to give fish, I want to teach fishers. And a scholarship for African youth, one or two per year, is a small gesture but I think it's an important gesture, and I wish more people would make the kind of effort if they have the resources, and we all know there are many people who have those resources and don't spend them properly. Um, towards the goal of raising the money to make all these lofty goals, buying shoes, buying water, building earthworks, we intend to have more candy sales, buying bulk uh, candy like uh, chocolates and that kind of thing, and selling those with donations, we also intend to have raffle baskets. I already have a letter drafted up that I'm going to give to local businesses and offer them promotional effort. Donate a few bars of soap from the soap garden. Donate some books from Kohl's. Donate some junk food from the bulk barn. Or a gift certificate from a restaurant. Put it in a basket, raffle those off for tickets using a lotto license from Grenfell. Um, as a club and society, we're entitled to that. And I kindly thank the GCICU for that particular allowance. And in the years to come, we want to have frequent raffle baskets. People can win those for the price of a few dollars and get toiletries, get books, get coupons and things, make lives a little bit easier, and puts resources in our coffers to help the children in Africa. We also intend to have 50-50 draws and maybe poker tournaments or whatever the resources in the situation allows. And beyond using Grenfell, we would like to extend our reach still under the purview of Grenfell, the Lotto License, as a club and society doing outreach work at the flea markets, for example, in the Valley Mall here in Cornerbrook. And maybe having a sponsored event in a bar or a restaurant and having have a, a dinner, a fundraiser, that sort of thing. Um, we really want to stretch our resources, stretch our wings, and do the right thing for the right people. This is just one more effort I've got on my plate this particular semester, and I hope it'll blossom into something wonderful. Um, if you have any questions or comments or concerns, you can drop those in the comments box below. If you have any more questions, you can drop by www.kissesforafrica.org. The webpage is currently under construction, but with luck it will be up in no time. Thank you so much for your time, and have a wonderful evening.